Hi there and welcome back once again to another mad week of Alan's hot sauce reviews and challenges. And up today it's going to be a little hot sauce review. And there's another one from Mac Chili over there in good old Cowden Beath. Now, <coughs> if you've seen my videos before, I was doing their low range. That's the first two I did. Now I'm sitting with their mid-range, which goes between 4 and 6. And this one is called the Old Ricky. And I have to admit, I do love that picture. Now, ingredients-wise, this has uh, orange habanero chilli marsh, smoked chipotel chilli marsh, tomatoes, blackberries, which I love, dark chocolate, which I love. Um, dextrose, sugar, uh, cider vinegar, uh, tomato paste, orange juice, onion, onion powder, garlic powder, rib seed oil, salt, paprika, cumin, dried oregano, hickory smoke flavour. And all the things going to worry about this one is a little bit of whiskey in it. Because I don't drink alcohol. And I'm do hoping, and whiskey is a very unique flavour and strong at times. So I'm just hoping that that doesn't overtake it all. So, and what it also says here is all Ricky is a sweet smoky barbecue sauce with a hint of scotch whiskey. This delicious sauce is ideal for marinades or simply a dipping sauce on almost anything you choose. And I have to say so far uh, with the two sauces that I've done already um, from Mac Chili. I've absolutely loved them and I'd like to thank Ewan again for all the help that he has given me on picking the, the sauces that I was looking to review. So, up to date is the first one of the mid range. Okay, get all bit spoon ready. You can see there right away it's definitely got that dark chocolate look and you can see the peppers in there as well get away from the top right. now you're definitely getting the barbecue from it oh it's definitely got a lovely smell you definitely get a hint of the whiskey Interesting. Let's see what the pores like. That's a, a lovely texture to it. I like to fill up the good old spoon. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Now it's out of the ball. We definitely get a hint of the whiskey. The barbecue is there as well. No, my chili. The old Ricky. Do you satisfy my little craving for heat today? It's got a lovely flavour to it. Now it does say the heat level here is a 5 out of 10. I have to admit last week I wasn't doing a lot of any hot stuff, uh, sauces or that. Got a lovely, got a lovely sting to it. That's a habanero coming straight through. I love the flavour for it. Oh, I like that. Let's go back for more. Mm. 
The whiskey's not strong, but you're definitely getting it. You're getting that habanero sting coming through. For me, I'm sitting at a one, a low one, not any higher than that. Um, for a non chili head, if you said any higher than a three, uh, mind, mind, I always keep on saying this, this is my heat tolerance, okay? Um, but it's got a lovely flavour to it. Non chili heads, if you said any more than a three, I'd be surprised. Um, but I do, I'll tell you, I do like that. It's got a lovely flavour to it. You get the onions, paprika, but the habanero is coming through it. It's a lovely sweet sauce. As you see, I'm, I'm getting a bit of the barbecue coming through it. Mm. Nice, eh? I really do enjoy that one. I have to admit. The whiskey's not overpowering. But I'm getting all the rest of the flavours, which is lighting up my mouth. Uh, Flavour Town, as they say. Heat level, I haven't moved off of one. I have to admit that. Uh, for me, anyway. But there you go, guys. Mac Chili. Ewan, thank you again. Once again, I should say. Uh, for letting me review this one, the old Ricky, as soon as I seen the bottle on his stand, I went straight for it, I have to admit, it's a full of flavour, which I'm enjoying, uh, you're getting the habanero sting, which I'm enjoying, uh, and I say I was getting the barbecue from it, uh, but there you go, lovely sauce, and once again, one that was highly recommend you try out. Get on their website, Mac Chili, over there in Cowden Beef Fife. Definitely worth a look and definitely worth a try. I'll see you all later, guys. Bye.